2020 will see the release of the next generation of gaming consoles with insane computing power that will rival even the most high-end gaming PCs. These updates to console technology are going to enable some unreal gaming experiences with the release of the PS5 and Xbox Series X. But an important thing to note is that in order to actually unlock some of the next-gen gaming features of these consoles, you'll need a TV with compatible specs. Most TVs up until this point in time don't include the technology that's required. The PS5 and Xbox Series X are made to deliver the sharpest and smoothest gaming experience with 4K resolution. And this, of course, is something that's been available in TVs for some time. However, up until now, 4K input to a TV was predominantly capped at 60 frames per second. And the previous generation's Pro consoles, the PS4 Pro and Xbox One X, were capable of delivering 4K, but only at 30 frames per second. The next-gen consoles improve on this in two key areas, frame rate and resolution. Both consoles are capable of running games in 120 frames per second, also known as 120 Hz, in 4K, which is four times as much as the 4K 30 Hz, which was available in the previous gen consoles. What this means is that games will be displayed with tack sharp clarity and run smoother and more judder free than ever before. This is something which is definitely going to be noticeable. And if you have a newer smartphone with a 120 Hz display, you'll be able to attest to the difference that this makes compared to 30 or 60 Hz. The other huge advancement enabled by the next gen consoles is the ability to game in 8K resolution, which is insane. And we're only just beginning to see consumer friendly 8K displays roll out throughout the second half of this year. The limitation, however, is that 8K can only be displayed at 60 frames per second. We'll talk a little more about this later. At the core of these graphical capabilities of the next-gen consoles is the technology which enables them the ability to send so much information to your TV. And that is HDMI 2.1. HDMI 2.1 is the latest iteration of HDMI connectivity, which is a huge step forward from the previous HDMI 2.0b, which is used on most TVs today. Compared with HDMI 2.0b, which has a bandwidth of 18 gigabytes per second, HDMI 2.1 almost triples this with 48 gigabytes per second bandwidth. And it's this additional bandwidth which enables these high frame rates and resolutions which were not possible before. HDMI 2.1 also introduces two additional new features in addition to the higher frame rates and resolution. These features are auto low latency mode and variable refresh rate. Auto low latency mode essentially detects when a gaming console is connected and automatically switches to low latency gaming mode within the TV, removing much of the image processing performed by the cinema oriented modes, which reduces the input lag between the console and the screen. Variable refresh rate on the other hand allows the TV to adjust the refresh rate on the fly to match the output of the connected console similar to the rate syncing technology of AMD FreeSync and NVIDIA G-Sync. But regardless of the name used, this will further enable an even smoother gaming experience. If your current TV doesn't have HDMI 2.1 connectivity, that's okay. You'll still be able to upgrade to a PS5 or Xbox Series X. It just means that you won't be able to take full advantage of the 4K gaming capabilities that they offer. If you enjoyed this review, please leave a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of these types of videos, hit subscribe and the bell icon below. Until then, thanks for watching and I'll catch you at the next one.